Und damit ein herzliches Willkommen zu unserem zweiten Part Let's Play Fake Winter Warrior. Ich bin es im Zimmer Fix. Beim letzten Mal huh, haben wir hier wieder hier sehr viele interessante Gespräche gehört, haben wir hier gesehen, dass Barry wieder irgendwas seltsames hier vor, vorhat und haben hier nur mit ansehen müssen, wie Demeter entsendet wurde, um uns zu töten. Demeter soll hier ausrücken und so wie es von Zeus hier klang, gibt es hier keine Gnade auf Lebewesen. Sollte es hier kollateral schaden, sollte es kein Opfer sein. Ich denke mal, dieses lustige Bällchen-Ding, was wir hier sehen, ist nun Demeter. Und wir schauen jetzt mal, ja, was hier vorhat. It was an enormous fear. A massive steel object, as tall as most of the nearby skyscrapers. This was the true form of a god. Ihr wahrer wahre mechanischer Körper. This was one of the gods that reigned as supreme over Olympus. One of the arcs that had crossed the sea of stars long ago. It was the Lefia that presides over the land. This was Demeter, the mechanical goddess of the land and harvest. As the mother goddess inherited much from Gaia, her name means Mother Earth. She saves humanity by giving them Ambrosia, which grants immortality. She nurtures humanity by keeping her supply to us running at every hour of the every day. Her love for humans is genius, but... Ah, how sad, how tragic. Death is so sorrowful, ending so such misery. Oh, my beloved citizens of Olympus, my darling, precious children. I'm so sorry to have to do this. But I need to take your lives for a moment. Commence Demolition In einem Zug wurde es zur Hölle. Doch der Grund ist natürlich Demeter, die Mutter von allem. Natürlich, wenn die Menschen hier sterben, können sie hier sie wieder wecken. Das ist ja das, was wir im Endeffekt schon gehört haben. Aber das geht nur gegen uns. Puh! An Earthquake? No, wait. That didn't feel like it came from the ground. This is Demeter power. Believe me, I had no amount of vibration anywhere. Scream, Elysius. It's a well scream derived from Demeter's authority that can tell massive expenses of land in an instant. It's powerful enough to destroy entire city districts. She could use it to blow her off all of Olympus in probably half a day. Did you say all of Olympus? That's right. She must be trying to kill us. No. She must be trying to kill you guys, even if she has to reduce the whole city to rubble to do it. But does not mean the people of Olympus will also... Yes. Her scream kills everything it touches. She must be counting on all of you being somewhere in the area she's targeting. And that's all she needs for her attack to succeed. This was how the gods so brutally killed the rock spirit from Puppy Ministry. Genau, aber das haben wir aber schon gesehen. Also, ähm, äh, als hier Tesla und die anderen gekämpft haben, dass alles sch nur Schutt und Asche war. Aber es war ja am Ende wieder alles gestanden. Fufu! So they don't think anything of sacrificing their own city. B but wait, I just remembered. Adele, didn't you say that? The power of the gods is only a thing that can kill these immortal people. But while they are practically immortal, they are not truly really immortal. That's what you said, right? That's right. So then, does it mean, at this very moment, Demeter is massacring hundreds of thousands of people? Yeah, but nobody's gonna care. Not when they know she just regenerated everything she kills so distress later. It's what uh, she did back during the third Machia, and it's what she did uh, when she killed Nikola Tesla's group too. With Demeter's authority, she could easily massacre every Olympian to serve an alliance to her. And bring everything back the way it was just a few days. How glorious gods, huh? So even death can be cured in this world. But you also said you're still for pen, right Adele? Even if they know they'll be brought back to life, being crushed to death inside a building must still be a terrifying experience. Maybe it only sounds weird to me because I'm not a model myself. Assuming that the goddess of the land's authority truly is capable of completely restoring a personal physical body. The notion that the experience of dying would summon or affect the victim psychologically is, I must admit that 
While this is unexplored territory, the prospect seems extremely unlikely at beast best. I see. You care about the same things they did. Some said it didn't matter what the people of this lost belt went through, since they were all going to disappear when proper human history was restored anyway. But that didn't prevent the rogue spirits of our alliance from trying to save them from the gods' devastating attack. What's more? <laughs> Now that I've been on Stampa for so long, I took the liberty of rebooting myself. Adel Makeros, people of Caldea. Given how your twins are more sensitive than most people. And according uh, to Old Lionhead, my master and the demi from Caldea are just a uh, if not more so. I imagine you must be absolutely twisting yourself into knots over this dreadful state of affairs. <laughs> I know, because we did too. And with the benefit of that experience, I will ensure you don't make the same mistakes we did. Now then, let's resume Operation God Destroyer. Die selben Fehler heißt es einfach um die Menschen sich zu kümmern, versuchen sie zu retten. Weil wie gesagt, aber gleichzeitig, wenn wir Demeter besiegen wollen, bedeutet es nicht dann doch, dass im Endeffekt alle sterben? Möglich. Sehr gut möglich. Naja, kann man nichts tun, liebe Leute. Ähm. Schön Mesh, Super Mesh. Ich werde dich trotzdem nicht nutzen, Mesh. Ich finde es ja sehr schön, was du da machst, aber nein, Mesh. Heute, heute ist nicht dein Tag. Äh, ähm, ist es was für Perfect Dumo, liebe Leute? Ja, why not, oder? Perfekt Umo, liebe Leute. Black Rail. Äh, Mesh müssen wir in der Frontline leider nehmen. Mir gefällt dieser Forced Mesh Support nicht. Also, weil die, also. <lacht> nee, tut mir leid, tut mir leid, Mesh. Ich hab dich doch lieb, aber das, darauf könnte ich verzichten. Also 20. Und dann brauchen wir nur noch ihn hier. Wo ist mein mein Boy? Da ist mein Boy. So, und. Keine CS? Brauchen wir das? An sich nicht. An sich nicht. Egal, tun wir hier trotzdem noch ein. Weil der Titel war es Okay, ja, schauen wir mal, ob wir die Götter töten mit unserem äh, überschaubaren Arsenal hier. Das heißt, es ist das erste Mal Zeit, dass wir ein besiegen müssen. Ja, immer noch besser, als wenn alle drei gleichzeitig uns attackieren würden. Und die ist und Europa und ach ja. How sad, how tragic. Death is so sorrowful, endings are such misery. However, as long as I have my authority, death will be but a memory, and no life on Olympus will ever truly end. And yet, oh, I still can't help but feel this, this terribly sad. Raising South District. Nett wie eh und je, das Monstrum hier. Nett wie eh und je. Das sind schon echt Naturgewalten hier. Even as they are run about in confusion and distress, the people of the city continue to pray. Oh, Lady Demeter, Lady Demeter, Lady Demeter, please forgive us, please have mercy. Please, please, please return my lost arm, please. My child was crushed to death, please spare us. How can this happening again so soon? Please spare us, please give us a browser quickly. But the cries fall on deaf deaf ears. Deaf ears. Ears. So uh, that deaf ears. Their prayers remaining unanswered. The situation above ground is sheer chaos. None of the people in town are even looking our way. I for wish on the target. They meet us approximately two thousand meters away. And as luck would have it. It's a big metal ass that's facing us. Let's go do whatever we can while we have this chance. Right. Foo foo. Given that the tree of emptiness is deeply connected to the given lost by king. Tragically speaking, they only got our operation destroyer. Good, uh, our operation destroyer would need to concern itself with his ears. One 
could even go so far as to call whittling down the enemy fighting force completely meaningless. However, well, there are certainly some heroic spirits, especially those from times of war or who ruled large countries who were able to ignore the screams of innocent bystanders. No doubt they are used to having little concern for human lives throwing them away like uh, so much to refuse. But to that I say this. Is throwing lives away what makes one a hero? Is being able to uh, kill the mark of a champion? Oh, Tesla mod. Mit mir immer sympathischer. Aber es war sein Aegis. Yes, I suppose heroes may need to be causeless at times. But it's not causeless that makes them heroes in my book. If just killing and ever, never doing any good was all it took to be a hero, then there would be no distinction between heroes and killers whatsoever. No. It is overcoming adversity, breaking through the dark of night and saving, not taking lives, that makes one a hero. If a true hero is forced to take one life, it is uh, only in order to save another, even if that's on own. Ah, oh, Leute, man. Das, das ist so ein mega Zitat, man. Ist ja geil. Er steigt äh, konstant in der Sympathie. So, my fellow compatriots, if you, like us, are enraged by the destruction you see before you, then rest assured there is a way to defeat the one causing it. While we may have left for a battle ourselves before it was complete, the collaborator has since completed our secret weapon, one which given us more than even odds of victory. Thank you for sharing your opinion. However, it did strive me as tart long wind for an impassioned mid uh, mission speech. Oh, one day that was the pot uh, calling to a kettleback. I never say I expected this day to come with a timer function. The reason I went uh, for the trouble of making that speech, good Chaldeans, was to verify your feelings on that subject. What's happening next uh, is up to you. So, Maxi, what will you do? I'm going to stop the god. Right. Foo! You got out again, Foo. Please, get back in the storage space. Status report. Seven uh, link hero spirit cannon activated. 400 seconds until we can fire it. Commencing operation, got us drive on. Dimitar, maneuver. Good luck, everyone. Eine Kanone, ein Gotz abzuschießen? Das wird episch, liebe Leute. Approximately 30 minutes ago. Got Destroyer Lion Space, Olympus Underground. Operation Got Destroyer? What's that? It is what it sounds like. It's the name of the strategies we came up with to take down each of the gods. They've been a God Destroyer Alliance goal for a long time. They are the whole reason our alliance exists, and uh, luckily Tesla's group made a ton of headway on them. Unfortunately, we failed in our attempt to do so. We would like you to pick up where we left off. Please help us. I'm sure I had my head a uh, hand bringing you here. This uh, aspiration of yours may not know you, but you say have fought alongside other versions of us before, right? I remember you. We met back in America. We fought both against alongside each other. I'm sure you will all fire to the very best of your ability. But knowing you, I promise you this. It still won't be easy. Which is why we have this. Super! The mechanism! Fuh? It's the Theos Klinomi injector. Right, externally it appears to be very similar to the ones we saw in Atlantis. This is an original model, so I'm sure it's a cut pair of both what you saw in the terms of effectiveness and precision. After all, Klinomir never degrade, while they are near the Kronos Crown, the symbol of the King of the Gods. I'm guessing the Kronos Crown is that giant mechanical thing up above the Great Shrine. That's right, it used to belong to Kronos, back before the first Machia. So that's what keeps the 14 nano machines in good to working order, huh? Sounds like extra divine providence. Fufu! What a careful fool. You don't uh, want to get too close. Not unless you want to add a double fluffy body of yours to start swelling up like some kind of muscle balloon. Fufu, care! 
This year's Klinomia contained the authority of both Athena and Aris, the two gods of war. They are very pure nanomachines that are usually only given to the royal guard stationed in the sh Great Shrine. This should be a huge help in combat. At least until their effect wears off. Anyway. They are one of the more powerful weapons we got uh, with the Collaborator's help. Normal heroic spirits can't hold a candle to the gods, so you'll need these uh, to power up your spirit origins. Aris Clearonomia. Back in Atlantis, we heard this were long gone. I see. Well, don't worry. That's not the case here. They don't exactly grow on trees, but rest assured. We do have a high purity Clearonomia from all the 12 Olympians here. Usually, they would reject human uh, base spirit origin. But fortunately, we know how to adjust them on to work on you. So, you're basically getting a free power up, huh? That's great. It's like the Buddha himself has come to drag us out of hell. Most of us who live by the sword aren't picky about using whatever gives us an edge. At least, not if you live uh, by my initiative. Granted, I'm sure there are also regular rooks but capable of cutting down gods, but never mind this for now. I'd like to use them too, if you don't mind, under the current circumstances. As I agree that we can't be picky about how we are uh, even the odds. Is it okay with you, Master? Riley Mesh, when du das uh, dir zutraust, kein Problem. Just bad, just be careful you don't overdo it, okay? Thank you, Senpai. Don't worry. If I feel anything is wrong with my vitals, vitals, I'll let you know right away. That said, I think I'll just be fine. I saw what it was like for everyone else to fight with Klinomir back in Atlantis. Now it's my turn. If you stand over he there, Mesh, and Musashi, I begin the Klinomir injection and bounding procedure. And while we're doing that, I cover exactly what Demeter is. Here's a video feed of what's taking place above ground right now. This is Demeter, goddess of the land. A.K. Demeter, the interstellar voyage, supplier and production ship. She provides the Olympus interstellar fleet with the supplies they need. And on Earth, she provides people with infinite resources. She's said to be the god who inherited the most from Gaia, one of the original prototype ships. She possesses authority over the harvest, in other words, production and regeneration. While the power does consume a fair amount of magic energy, she rarely has to worry about running out thanks to connection she, along with uh, the other gods, have to the god made leyline in Olympus Crystal Mountain Range. Theoretically, she can regenerate from any amount of damage, making it impossible to completely destroy her. And if that wasn't bad enough? She also possesses Scream Elysius, not a circle of authority that breaks down alternate organic matter into reusable resources. Between infinite regeneration defense and massive destructive attacks, she is a powerful uh, opponent. There's no way you can hope to defeat her in normal battle. I see, yes. That's certainly uh, about what I would expect when going up against one of the 12 Olympians. What about the oral dissonance you two used yesterday? It appeared to be a good job cutting the gods off from the magic energy resources. That, well... That is one of the Alliance trump card, but it's not one we can use freely. Plus it takes a while to charge with magic energy, so it's still out of commission right now. Not to, to mention that the real thing is somewhere else right now, sorry. Hmm, I suppose I should have expected. It wouldn't be that easy. However, we've been deploying a secret weapon in the sky. The Seven Linker Rock Spirit Cannon. With it, we have a non zero chance of actually slaying the gods. <laughs> Eine non zero aussies. <laughs> That's a very impressive name, but what exactly is it? Unfortunately, it wasn't ready when Tesla's group was still here, but it's ready now. With the Rock Spirit Cannon complete, we can finally fight back without having to uh, cover in uh, fear of the gods. The Seven Linker Rock Spirit Cannon. I'm not typically one to get excited about uh, weaponry, but there's something about that name that gets my heart dancing. The Seven Link Heroic Spirit Cannon. Hmm. Yes, the gods may have defeated us, but our loss was not in vain. Our path to victory was viable. We simply weren't able to take it. 
But now our corpses have paved their way, and the path forward is clear. So go and be victorious! Okay, thanks guys. Now let me take it from here. I will be here all day. Alright, so the 7 Inca Roxburg Cannon is basically a giant super Mahatma Cannon. It's a type of mystic card that all the 7 of us here rock spirits pulled our magic energy into making it. You could even call it a magecraft weapon of sorts. It uses Kirimir from the Olympian Gods, who were in the coexistent faction and were defeated during the last Machia. Hades, God of the Underworld, Apollo, God of the Sun, Ares, God of War, and Hephaestus, God of the Forge. All seven of us, along with the collaborator, designed it to fire a pretty powerful projectile. It should be able to expose the mechanical god's divine core with a direct hit, which will open it up to further attacks. This can work, I'm sure of it. Now, let's get on to exactly where we're going to pull this off. Our target is Demeter, the mechanical god destroying Olympus South District, advancing as we speak. It looks like she is digging deep down into the ground too, which means it's only a matter of time until she also destroys the space. So we've got to fire the rock spirit cannon before she can get the chance. According to her calculation, these are the four optimal positions at which cannon can inflict the most damage. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta and Delta. Our job is to let the meter to one of these positions and score a direct hit on her with the rock spirit cannon, after which we uh, just wave on her. This is our Zeus uh, perfect victory right now, but uh, careful, the rock spirit cannon may technically be complete now, but it can still only be fired once. If it misses, you'll be in big trouble. Was machen wir dann eigentlich gegen die anderen Götter? Gute Frage. Clearly, my injection and bonding process complete. Why does that look good? I'm also to it. This is amazing. I can feel the energy welling up inside me, magical and otherwise. As for the stuff with the cannon, we are listening along too. And I think we got this gist. Basically, we hit this goddess ship a thingy with a special cannon and then it'll be time to cut down to size. Sounds like a plan to me. Now let's all go make it happen. Are you with me, Maxi? Let's do it! Operation God Destroyer, begin! Weltmaster! The Stats one last thing you should uh, be aware of. We don't have time to get into the details now, but just be careful about what you say up in the su on the surface. Down there, you can say whatever you want, but up there, make sure not to mention our base or our names. I don't really get it, but uh, got it. All set? Great! Then let's get this operation started. Naja, die beiden hier sind jetzt sicher auch nicht so unschuldig. Es wird schon einen Grund haben, wieso die hier so verdeckt unter der Erde agieren. After showing the target, the meter is making her way through the south district, moving from the northern area to the southern. She's laying waste and everything in her path. She's going to destroy the entire region unless we stop her. That's probably her game. If she doesn't find us uh, south, in the south, she keep destroying all the other districts one by one until she does. I say this about the plan. It's a pretty solid approach to killing us all no matter where we might be hiding. Case in point, the Alliance places are right in the south and tips underground infrastructure. The Scots don't do anything by us, that's for sure. If nothing else, I'll give them a point for style. Last time, Demeter stopped her assault after she'd killed all the rock spirits above ground. But this time... We don't know what the, the main objective is. <coughs> For all we know, she might uh, really destroy the entire city. Either way, we're not gonna take this lying down. <coughs> oh, Leute, by all this rauch and this fire, I'm used. No way in hell, I'm gonna let this god destroy the city or wipe out our base. What's the last uh, latest start on the seven link rock spell cannon? It's all set up on the rooftop. We have the disguise sky grip in the middle of the soft district. We're aiming at it in Alpha as we speak. Find a way to let the meter there. We open fire as soon as we have fair on our sides. Fu! Ah, please get back in the storage place, Fu. Let me go over this one more time. The meter's not acting alone. She's being accompanied by a number of escorts located directly beneath her. 
Special Fleet is a swarm of destructive machine and steal demonic beasts. You should be able to draw the meter's attention by finding these escorts and destroying them one at a time. Our analysts tell us that Demeter relies exclusively upon her overwhelming ability, powerful abilities in combat. So she has no understanding of strategy or tactics as applied to battle. Naja, Leute, sie ist ein Gott. <laughs> Verstehe ich schon. So the plan is set. In the nearby enemy's heart, draw Demeter's attention and lead her to a point alpha. Fascinating. Yes, most fascinating indeed. It seems face one of this anti-machine god strategy can be best described as We won't know until we try. Fooms? <laughs> Fooms gefällt mir. Where did that come from? I'm shocked too, Senpai. I can't recall Sherlock Holmes ever saying something as um cavalier before. It almost sounded to me like he was just, well, saying something for the hell of it. <laughs> I'll share you, Miss Carolite. I was being quite sincere. Uh, does he usually say that kind of stuff, or was he hitting the pipe of his own uh, when we weren't looking? No, while well, I very much enjoy a good pipe, I'm quite sober at the moment. Now I'm anyone else disguised at me. Now, more importantly, it's seen sensing a number of magic energy signals not too far from us. I, am I the only one? You're right, it's a group of the missiles escort. They appear to be about 200 meters away. And the meters itself is 2200 meters past them. We're close enough to begin the operation. Foo! So, Maxi, what's your next move? Mess, Mojossi, get ready for battle. Understood. Problem time. Huh? Fine by me. Well, well, let us begin phase two of the anti machine god sushi. The only move we can make. Sherlock, Sherlock, Sherlock. Um, übrigens, die, meine Sherlock's Sass Theorie, um, dass er irgendwie seltsam ist und irgendwie böse ist. Das hat sich ja in dem äh, Lost Belt hier nochmal sehr bestätigt. Um, ich musste sagen, diese eine Sache, dass Zeus irgendwie so ein bisschen Gefallen an ihm findet und er sagt, hey, das ist ein seltsamer Typ, dass ich das schon kannte. Aber trotzdem ist es immer wieder schön, schön zu sehen, dass äh, Sherlock Sass ist. Was guckt man auch mit? War toller moralischer Einsatz von dir. Ich bin echt, ich bin echt baff. So, gefällt mir, wenn sie jetzt hier optional, äh, wenn sie jetzt äh, andere Voice Lines hätte, das wäre sehr cool. So, wir bekommen ja bald die Pan Skills und theoretisch ähm, wäre das eigentlich ganz nett gewesen. Und dann könnte ich auf Merlins äh, Skin hier, äh, skippen. Also theoretisch müssen wir nur noch äh, näheres äh, Skill auf Level ähm, leveln und dann könnten wir theoretisch noch ein bisschen mehr äh, Damage machen, weil dann hätten wir Tamamo reintun. Aber es kommt noch bei Kassel und dann wird es auch Damage. <lacht> More Uwe Damage, liebe Leute. Laos sind doch Ja, aber mein Ziel ist ja, Olympus durchzuspielen. Also äh, zumindest bevor Kassel kommt man. Uwe! Ich hab mal gemacht, aber wo man dafür mal Nero ist einfach auch. Bastameter, Mann! Das Bastameter schlägt wieder zu. Oh, diese schönen Spiritual Dinger. Ah, die brauche ich, die brauche ich, die brauche ich, die brauche ich. Jut, das war doch schon mal ein schöner Fight. Ohne Grüße und Probleme haben wir das bewältigt, aber ich denke, es wird noch unschöner. Und ähm, trotzdem werden wir das irgendwie angehen und beim nächsten Mal geht es dann weiter mit Let's Play Fact Bis zum nächsten Mal und vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen.